We're in a very green end of our People Place Alley Garden this morning with Dr. Roland Roberts, Area Vegetable Specialist with the Texas Agricultural Extension Service. And this morning we're going to be talking about watering systems for your garden. Good morning, Dr. Roberts. Good morning, Alice. Specifically, we're talking about a system here that we have in our People Place Alley Garden referred to as a drip irrigation system. What is that? The drip irrigation system is a, an irrigation method for applying water to the soil very, very slowly. As you can see here, it just drips out of this, what we call an irrigation lateral, which goes down the garden between the rows. So it just, it delivers the water very slowly. For every thousand linear feet of this particular material known as Viaflow, the delivery, water delivery rate will be two gallons per minute per thousand linear feet. Is this system preferred over just a regular lawn sprinkler system? Yes. For the type of diversified vegetable garden we have here, where we've got as many as uh, 15 or 20 different vegetables growing at the same time, it's better uh, with the type of culture we have and the type of water to have the uh, water delivered to the soil very slowly and uh, just contacting the surface and, and moving right down into the soil from the surface rather than to be sprinkled on over top or to be run down the garden in furrows. It, uh, it not only makes it, well for instance we can, uh, we can work in the garden at the same time the irrigation system is running. The irrigation system is running right now and we can work in the garden whereas if we had a sprinkler irrigation or a furrow irrigation you just all gardening activity uh, ceases until the irrigation job is done and then for about a day afterward too. How long does it take to water the garden with this kind of system? At this particular rate of delivery uh, for this size garden, which is about 500 square feet, we are applying about a half a gallon per minute. And in order to get an inch of irrigation water over this area, we need to uh, run the system for about six hours. Sounds like the computation system is very complex. Well, it's, it's not. It's just simple arithmetic, really. But once you've done it, you know exactly how much water you're applying. And uh, uh, we will, for some of this area where we've got the crops growing like the lettuce and uh, the onions and the tomatoes growing fast, we'll need to do this once, at least once every four to five days now, and perhaps once every three days when we get into the hotter part of the summer. Once you have the system set up, it's just a matter of turning on your garden hose. That's all there is to it. And turning it off six hours later. That's right. How complex is it to set the system up? It's very simple. Let's start with the, uh, let's start with the delivery end, the water delivery end. The simple garden hose fitting goes on to, goes into a, a plastic acceptor here and then into one half inch black plastic pipe. The black plastic pipe then goes to T's, like we have three on this particular header. This is the header pipe. We have these T's, plastic T's, that then go into an adapter. And then the adapter is, uh, again, fastened on to the lateral, uh, the, the lateral drip irrigation line, which in this case is Viaflow. Um, there are, it is just a simple sleeve, plastic sleeve. Uh, this particular uh, unit here is a double sleeve. We have a fiberglass outer sleeve that is is for armor purposes. It protects the inner sleeve of, of uh, porous plastic. And then the other part, the other parts are simply a, a small dole valve, which which limits the amount of water that goes in to the right amount. And then on top of that, a a very simple strainer that's pressed in. What is that strainer for? The strainer is to prevent any small particles that might come through the water lines from going down into the uh, drip irrigation line itself. And then it's a simple matter of attaching that right onto the end of the fitting. Then you cut the fiberglass tubing the for the length of your length. own garden. That's right. You can put this together with a jackknife. These fittings, uh, these acceptors are uh, are designed in such a way that the pipe is simply pressed or pushed into them and you don't need any other equipment than a jackknife to put this to cut the, uh, the line to the right length. That we just screw this on and then start we, up the system. Plus maybe a little advice from the people you buy it from. <laughs> oh yes, uh, yes, the, 
the people who sell the, um, the drip irrigation systems are very happy to advise people on the design and setup and will help you with your uh, the size of garden to determine how many lines and how they should be arranged. I understand that we got our drip irrigation system for our alley garden at Submatic here in Lubbock. That's right. Do you have any idea how much it costs to set up the yes. drip irrigation for a, a norm, an average size yes. garden? Yes. Depending on the sophistication, uh, you can, it will vary. The initial cost can vary anywhere from six to maybe twelve dollars per hundred square feet. Uh, because of this outside armor, uh, this is a bug proof uh, material here, I expect that uh, we'll be able to use this for perhaps two or three years and that will, uh, that will further reduce the cost per year to perhaps only three or four dollars per hundred square feet per year. You can go even more sophisticated and have a timer that sets the garden hose yes. to come on and off, can't you? Yes, you, you can, uh, for instance, if you work all day and you want to irrigate your garden early in the morning for several hours, you can put a timer on your, right after the faucet, um, and set it for the amount of time that you wish to have the garden irrigated and then leave and it will shut off automatically. Dr. Roberts, thanks again for showing us around here in the People Place Alley Garden. Dr. Roland Roberts, Area Vegetable Specialist with the Texas Agricultural Extension Service, is our garden expert each Tuesday and Thursday mornings. We thank you for joining us and hope that you're gardening along with us. We'll take a break now and be back right after this.